viewers, my name is Jason Dale and this is the new Toyota Yaris 2021. Now, I say new, this is basically the facelift the model, but I'm going to show you what are the changes that they did over from the pre-facelift to this one, this facelift the model. Show you around the cabin, uh, tell you how it performs when you're driving on road and even on highway. Tell you the things I do like about it and things I don't like about this car. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. So one of the biggest changes of the design from the pre-facelift over to this facelift is the design, the front especially. You have a new headlamp, you have a new grill, you do get a new standard LED across all models. You do have a better looking DRL or across all the range as well. Uh, you do get this new uh, grill which is like some kind of honeycomb mesh around here. I do prefer this uh, uh, grill rather than this uh, brother which is the Toyota Vios which has a horizontal line. I think this one looks way cooler. So on the side profile, nothing has much changed over the pre-face lip. Uh, you do get some black stripe over the side skirt over here rather than red. Uh, you do get a real privacy glass on the mix pad and the higher string and you do get a very aerodynamic on the roof and in fact this car is one of the best aerodynamic in the B segment class it has a 0.23 of a CED cold drag efficiency rather than its competitor for example the Honda Jazz is a 0.33 of a CED so and if you're an engineer this car is a very aerodynamic and the underbody of this car is completely flat yeah, so uh, that is very, very good. And if you're just a regular consumer and thinking, oh, what is that number? What does it mean? It just basically means this car is a very good aerodynamic. <laughs> the wheel of the design of the Toyota Yaris is nothing much changed, to be honest. But it's not to say it's a very bad looking wheel. It's a very nice, beautiful looking wheel. You do get some very nice black uh, plastic trim around here as well. Very nice, good looking. And it's full LED at the wheel as well. Get your wiper at the rear as well. You get a nice, very nice hood spoiler over here, which is very, very good. Yeah, and yeah, and also the aerodynamic is also extend to the rear as well. You do get a really nice thin clip over here at the head, uh, the rear light over here, which is nice, you know. Overall, hmm, not, nothing to complain at the rear. So the boot capacity of the Toyota Yaris is about 286 liters which is very small uh, if you compare to its competitors such as the Honda Jazz it has around 363 liters of boot space but it's okay you know the, the boot uh, the boot shape over here is quite big you know so you can carry long items without any restraint you do get some nice features such as the shopping bags hook at here especially four of it which is nice uh, you do get a full size spare wheel underneath here which is very rare nowadays thank you Toyota uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. You don't get any netage at the heel as well. And if you want to fold down the seat, you have to go to the front, which I'll do right now. You need to hit the level over here. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it has a very big ridge at the seat over here. So for example, if this is my luggage over here, I just need to a little bit uh, push it forward, you know, and I have to lift the thing. I can just slide it through, which is okay for most people. It's alright, and this huge Toyota emergency kit is quite big and eats up the space. So yeah, that's about it. Now the interior design of the Toyota Yaris is is fairly nice. Okay, uh, you do have a very simple layout in the cabin. You have your infotainment system over here, your climate control, your steering function over here is pretty nice. Uh, quality wise is it's a it's a bit okay. You know, uh, you do get a lot of bits of plastic at the door panel, the dash. You know, uh, but it's not it's a Toyota. It's not gonna break. You know, and you do get a lot of black things go around in the cabin especially like this roof line over here and the seat it is not helping in terms of the light liveliness of the interior quality because it's very dark okay toyota tried to make this cabin a bit much more uh, lively a little bit uh they do give you a lot of blue theming going on in the uh in the interior such as a blue uh, steering wheel stitching over here blue infotainment blue uh, climate control blue speedometer blue kick plates blue stitching on the door panel blue stitching at the steering wheel all of this and more it makes the cabin much more 
okay you know it rather than all uh, black and green g in the cabin now another thing i do like about this interior is the sitting position you sit relatively low like you're in like a sports car over here uh you do get a lot of adjustment at the seat so if you're short you can adjust all the way up in uh so that you can see in front of your bonnet over here but for me i'll put it all the way down uh because i'm quite tall uh the steering wheel you know uh it's okay you know i wish it can push forward just a little bit you know but it does only go up and down uh yeah uh that, those are the things i do like also oh another thing i do like is the uh, speedometer now the speedometer is mostly uh, analog like your ref count your speedometer but you do get a 4.2 inch uh digital display on the right you do get uh for the mix pad as well uh it's fairly okay you know you get all your trip computer your your big digital uh speed over here but nothing too much to complain but i do find it very weird that toyota give you a best ranking fuel consumption at the uh, digital display like i guess if you want to show off to your friend how good is your toyota yaris fuel consumption then yeah you can <laughs> Now, those are the good things I do like about this interior. Now, the things I don't like in this interior is, uh, there's, uh, there's this, uh, piano black, uh, plastic trim at the door here. I mean, it looks nice when it's brand new, but from time and on, uh, you go, you're gonna see a lot of fingerprint marks over here and it gets very, very easy to get scratched over here. And this is a brand new car and I really do have one minor micro scratch at here and it does head into my ocd mm, that's not very good and another thing i don't like about this uh, uh interior is that this armrest is far right to the back and there's no slider in forward so if you're in a very long journey you want to have a very comfortable ride like your arms right here over here your arms over here but it's so far back at that i can't even reach the steering wheel you know like Come on, Toyota, really? And the sizing of the armrest is pretty pathetic, gotta be honest. Uh, yeah. Uh, those are the things I don't like about this interior, but it's just a, a minor nick nick picking over here. So overall, the interior is all right. Now moving on to the rear seat. Uh, so for me, I can sit very comfortable in the back over here this seat is my usual driving position over here and as you can see i have plenty of leg room over here uh you, i can slide my feet forward if i want to underneath the seat with no problem the problem is if i sit up dead straight i've just got this a little amount of head room left but and it's not really good and it's, especially if you're like me you would have your hair gel like that uh, it's not gonna be very nice but you get a lot of leg room over here so you can just slouch just a little bit and so you can rest your head much more comfortably yeah which no problem at all oh and the door bins uh, at the back hold on it's fairly good as well i can fit a regular size uh, thermos bottle as well in the back no problem at all uh, you do get two usb port in front of you over here uh, you can fit your manual uh, toyota manual at the rear seat pocket also is very very big and the middle seat however is not very very nice because it's raised up slightly and so whoever sit in the middle especially an adult tall as me and yeah as you can see if i sit up this straight in the middle it's not gonna be very very lovely in the middle and the body of this car is not wide so you're gonna squeeze on shoulder room especially so it's not really really nice uh, sitting in the middle seat and if you want to touch one of your friend yeah Ask them to say in the middle, they're not going to be very too happy. <laughs> so what does it feel like to drive the new Toyota Yaris on the town? Well, I got to be honest, really relaxing, you know. The suspension itself is a very comfortable ride to, to begin with. It's set up to be a very, very good suspension, whereas this competitor like the MyV, it has a very harsh suspension on that car. Even on normal road surface, it is a very harsh ride. Whereas this one, pretty good you know it deals with bump pretty well and going through speed bumps really relaxing you know it's no wonder 
why people buy this car because it is a re really relaxing car to travel in and the sound isolation in this car is pretty good you know even though i'm driving a very low speed at 30 kilometers an hour on normal town road it is a really quiet cabin you do hear the engine noise coming from the engine hood but that's okay it's just very normal for a car to do that but in terms of uh, the wind noise or inside like, the cabin like especially rattling noise in the door panel little to none and the seat oh man this seat is really comfortable even though i wish they would give leather seat like what they give in the toyota vios which this one give a fabric even though it's the same car underneath the skin but okay whatever but overall this seat uh i can travel in this car really really long distance trip oh so far I really like this car traveling on road surface like this really really good now traveling this car on a long distance trip is really really good although you do get some uh, road noise coming from the tire at speed uh, you do uh, get a, just a little bit of wind noise coming from the windows over here but nothing too much intrusive or annoying that you can't travel this car which you can you can travel this car for a pretty long distance trip so traveling a long distance trip can be very tiring and this car this Yaris have the latest Toyota safety features you know you do get your pre-collision warning several airbags you know uh, blind spot monitoring uh, lane watch keeping assist you know all that and bells and whistles and this I think is probably one of the best B7 cars that you, that you can get for the safety features like this you know uh, and even we don't even talk about B7 I think even on premium cars they don't even get this uh, latest uh, safety equipment as standard you need to get them as an optional which is very rude for this uh, for this Yaris yeah you can get it on even on mid spec now coming to a twisty road over here and as you can see yeah you do get a lot of body roll just a little bit because of that softer suspension that's a bit of drawback but nothing too bad you know this car doesn't like fall off to the cliff you know <laughs> it handles well you know uh, just don't push it too much okay if you push it too much yeah it will understeer quite a lot so right now i'm driving at 80 kilometers an hour and i'm going to engage into sport mode and see how fast this car is from 80 to 110 let's go That's 110 for you. Now, I'm not sure you can hear it. Uh, when I hit the throttle, it, 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 the engine goes boom, you know. That's because that's the nature of a CVT. It holds its, uh, it holds its gears uh, on top of the red line over there. So you, does, you do get a very droney noise coming from the engine. But it's okay, you know. Uh, I still prefer an automatic gearbox, to be honest. But for most people, I think they can get away with it, you know. And going from 80 to 110, it's all right, you know. It, it does not kick you right to the, the the instant you hit the throttle. It's a much more effortless uh, gearing, you know. It's from goes from hundred uh, from 80 to 90 to 100 to 110. It's a much more effortless driving, if you ask me. Conclusion, what do I think about this car? Well, if you're looking for a car that is very reliable and if you want to have a car that is very relaxing to drive from A to B and if you want to have the latest safety feature that you can't even get this kind of level of feature on premium cars then yeah, I think this car is great for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the thumbs up, it really does help me out. So I'll see you guys in the next video.